to morning break. Georgia Southern's own Luke Bryan had a hit with the song Rain is a Good Thing. If he talked with my next guest, he might have swapped out rain for fire. That's the message the organizers of the third annual Savannah River Fire Festival hope to get across this weekend with a lot of fun involved. This morning I am joined by Susan French from the Longleaf Alliance and mascot Burner Bob. Bob, welcome back. Excited to have Bob here and Susan as well. We're talking about uh, an event happening out at the Mary Carl's Carl's Warnell Forest Education Center, which kind of hits on two of our big things, forest and education and combining them with talking about fire. And, and a lot of people would say, how can you say fire is a good thing? We're talking about prescribed burns, obviously, but let's talk about that and, and what kind of education you're hoping to get across to people this weekend. Sure, uh, so prescribed burning is such a valuable management tool um, and a lot of folks might see smoke in the air and as you said, their initial reaction is thinking that it might be a bad thing, um, but our prescribed burning is a really good thing. It can help create wildlife habitat, um, improve our forest health and also actually reduce our, our wildfire risk. And, uh, I'm assuming Burner Bob spends a lot of time out in the woods? He does. It's his favorite place to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go to the uh, the event this weekend that's happening out there. This is the third time you've done it, so you've had some some time to figure out what works and and what doesn't. Uh, what what do you got happening out there on Saturday? Sure, we're so excited uh, for the third year. We're going to have food trucks, games, a live burn demonstration. There will also be some live animals there, as well as Burner Bob in person. So everyone will get to come and meet him as well. well okay, so how do, do, I'm assuming the kids enjoy seeing uh, seeing Burner Bob? Oh, absolutely. He's the biggest hit of the festival, I think. <laughs> the uh, the burn demonstrations you mentioned, and is that kind of this this is the idea of, of how we start those or? Yes, uh, so that's a drip torch, and that's how um, people get to see that equipment in action when they come to the festival on Saturday um, and get to see kind of the planning that goes into it, meet some live firefighters, um, and get to talk with them and, and see what happens. I live um, down in Richmond Hill, and over the weekend, last weekend, there was a lot of smoke in the air, and everybody immediately goes to look. Was there a prescribed burn this weekend? And there was um, but a lot goes into that and I know the weather is one of the biggest factors when you're when you're planning prescribed burns and and so much has to be taken into consideration because safety is of, of the utmost importance. Absolutely safety is of the utmost importance and we do do a lot of planning we look at those weather conditions um, and that's what we really try to choose the right day with the right conditions with wind with humidity um, so we can keep smoke away from sensitive areas um, where a lot of people are going to be um, you know and really minimize that for folks. Who all do you have involved in this from vendor standpoint and um, exhibitors and things like that. Sure, we have so many great folks coming, um, state agencies like the Georgia Forestry Commission, Georgia DNR, um, as well as nonprofits um, and others like UGA Extension and the Georgia Conservancy, just to name a few, but we'll have over three dozen participating this year. You got uh, face painting and stuff like that going on for Absolutely, the yes. We have a wonderful face painter who's coming back again this year and um, she's, she's always a ton of fun. Now, Bob, do you lead tours on Saturday? He'll be getting to do some photo ops. Okay. Um, they'll definitely be walking around and getting to meet everybody that comes. How, how hot is it for, for Bob out there? Um, it, it can be a little bit warm, especially with this 80 degree weather we've been having lately, but uh, he's he's used to it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, lastly, just in back to the education standpoint of this, how important is it to get that you want to have fun and you, get, you bring people out there? That's obviously the reason to do it, but also to make sure that you educate them, to help them understand why, why we're talking about this in the first place. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a great time to have a fun time outdoors and also maybe learn a little something um, that you didn't before and get to see um, things in action, see the animals that are benefiting from prescribed fire, meet the people using it and get to see everything that's involved and why we're doing it. All right. Uh, anything else you want to add? I guess we should have mentioned, by the way, it is free. It's it a free is event. free. It is free for the whole family. We've got things for adults, kids, everyone. Um, there's something, a little something for everybody. So um, we hope to see people there on Saturday. It'll be from 10 to 2. Hey, great. Great opportunity to get out there to Guyton and, uh, and you've got March 11th is the rain day in case it rains on Saturday? Yep, but we are good. We are going to be using this Saturday as our date, March 4th. I was going to say, it looks, it looks <laughs> good out there for this weekend. All right, thanks so much for being here, y'all. Bob, take it easy. <laughs> All right, coming up. We'll